Today I was thinking, how did I end up here? And I, I got a little deep about it because the storage auction thing is what kind of led to the YouTube thing. And I really sit here and think about it because I enjoy what I do. I'm a big brother, uncle, stepdad, whatever, to a lot of you guys. I really appreciate the love. And I really started to think, how did I go from rooting around in storage auction units to doing this YouTube thing? And I look at it because I, I got sick and my partner was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. So we didn't build a storage auction business where it could run without us. So we had to shut it down. And as I was healing and looking after my partner, I began to think about what I wanted to do with the rest of my life because it's like I always wanted to be a writer. I always wanted to write a book and communicate with people. And, you know, as a kid, going back to my childhood, I had no clue to what this amazing future was going to be. I was listening to a YouTube video and this lady who's an attorney, she was growing up, she did not realize that she could be an attorney. She was like, oh, can we do this? Cause you know, she would go to court and she would see the judge was white, the prosecutors were white and the defendant was black and the guy was in trouble. And you know, I really began to think about my childhood and how I had no clue that this amazing future was even possible. I didn't even dream about it nor contemplate it because I didn't know it existed. And I feel that that's where a lot of people are. A lot of people just simply don't know what is available, what is possible, what they can create, what they can do, what they can build. They simply don't know. Because I remember when I joined the military, I took the ASVAB and I remember the recruiter saying, oh, your ASVAB score is so high, you can do any job in the military. And he punched the button and all of this stuff scrolled across the computer screen. And also because of your ASVAB, ASVAB, ASVAB score, you could go wherever you want as first duty station. And I listened to him and I understood what he meant, but I really didn't comprehend what he was saying because I had no one that I could have turned to and say, hey, you know, I have this really high ASVAB score. I could do anything in the military because if I knew what I know now, I would have picked something totally different because I could have had any MOS in the military. And I picked and I was like, what's this? You know, and I was like, you know, I want to work in the laboratory. Think about going to med school at some point. So something medical. And that's how I ended up being a 92 Bravo. It wasn't like a lot of thought or I didn't have any direction. I didn't have, I, I just picked some and I was like, well, Hawaii, you know, cause when I was, when I was a kid, there was this show that was called um, Magnum PI and it was really popular. And I was like, Hey, I'll go to Hawaii and hang out with Magnum PI. That, that, that was the thought process. There was no real, cause I could have went to Germany. I could have went to London. I, I just chose what I chose because that was the extent of my knowledge. Because if I had a mentor, I probably would have picked nuclear medicine or crypto. Crypto guys were the ones who did the encryption and the code and you know top secret stuff because there was some crypto guys next to us and all these guys got the military in the early 90s and they were making 50 to $70,000 a year back then. And I didn't understand because I was so young. I didn't really get a full grasp to what was possible. And this is why mentors are so important. And this is why I, I talk about my life, I talk about my experiences, which pisses off some people because, you know, when I was creating the first version of Disruptive Male and I, I talked about my experiences with women, there were a lot of guys who were saying, you don't look like the type of guy to pull that off. 
And it was like, but I did. And part of that mentorship is saying what is possible. And, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of men were just like, kind of like up in their feelings about it because I had kind of cracked a code because when I was doing the Craigslist protocols, I completely stopped normal dating. I mean, it was like, this, this is it. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do a normal date. Sitting up in the bar, forget all that. When you can go straight up and direct. And I've learned that craftsmanship and being a technician because I became a technician back in the day of Craigslist ads. I knew how to write a well-crafted Craigslist ad for selling furniture and stuff and those skills matriculated over to the personal section. And one of the reasons I mention all this stuff is I'm kind of looking back and I'm really going back for the, since 2009 up until now. It has been an amazing ride. Because like I said, today I was doing my income statement and I was just like, wow, this has happened during the Rona? And I go back all the way back to when I was a kid and we used to get the Sunday paper and I used to read, and my mom, she was kind of like, you know, she wanted to read uh, unread Sunday paper because once you, you know, the Sunday paper was like, that thick and they had the comic sections and all this other stuff and I would love to get the comic section and I remember I had this love for reading and this love for learning and this love for writing which matriculated when I came out of the storage auction business and then I went into here on YouTube because I, I gave but the thing is I look back at it and it couldn't have happened any other way because I tried to be a writer two times before the third time and it never worked out because I didn't have the discipline, I didn't have the knowledge. I, it was just, writing was such a spooky, esoteric craftsmanship. And I didn't understand that to be a good writer, you need to have discipline. You need to sit your butt in front of the keyboard and write every day. That, that's the gist of writing and be, putting out work. And when that third time, after being in the storage auction business for years and writing thousands and thousands of Craigslist ads, I was perfectly suited to write a book. And I also tried to write, uh, I was writing a relationship book first. This was when Steve Harvey, there was another dude, and there was another dude that put out relationship books and I just felt that it was so limited. And I, I had interviewed over 200 women face to face. And I, I was like, I don't wanna be a relationship book dude. I'm not writing this book. So I had to, and this is when, this was in July of 2009. And this is just a few weeks before I launched this YouTube channel. And I had to really move quickly because the clock was ticking because I had had some money saved and I was living on 1500 bucks a month, which when you don't have bills, I didn't have car, I didn't have a car payment, I didn't have credit card payments. You know, $1,500 goes a long way. So this is when I went to the internet and I got some mentorship. I found this website, this blog, and the guy said, how to make 50, $60,000 a year on the internet is to sell X amount of product tied to the two or 3,000 people. And you know, that really connected with my business mind. And I was like, well, I can do that. And that's what I did. So I, cr I created a digital product. And I remember in the beginning, it was crazy. I remember I was on the phone with people for sometimes two hours for a 1999 ebook. And a few of them would use my time on the phone and would not buy the 1999 ebook. It, I was really selling myself so short back then. I didn't understand what I had. But then as I went through, and also I got screwed by my editor because there was not one version of the storage auction book, there was three. And what I do, every time I made a revision, I would just send a free copy to everyone that bought the original book. And I look back at that time and I didn't understand what I was doing. 
I had no clue. I had no mentors. I had no YouTube mentors. I, if, oh my God, if I had a mentor, I could have made so much more money, so much more money. And I was just kind of feeling my way, trial and error, throw this against the wall. Oh, it's stuck. Cool. I'll throw it against the wall. It didn't stick. Oh, not, not so cool. And I look back at that time and I wish I can go back because, you know, with the knowledge I have now, I would have started five or six YouTube channels. I, I really would have. And what, that's kind of what I'm doing now because there are five YouTube channels. And let's talk about that because this fits into the journey. Because YouTube has been so fantastically good to me, there is this channel, Savage Finance, The Mindset Coach, Life on the Tube, and The Dominant Male. Because I changed the name because The Dominant Male was life in black and white. The Dominant Male is going to have a different tone and authority than Disruptive Male. A lot of people really miss the disruptive mail, but see YouTube, you, you can't run a disruptive mail channel on today's YouTube. I mean, I was running into issues where I would have a banging thumbnail, YouTube would remove the thumbnail, and I'm just sitting there like, oh God. And these chicks had their clothes on, and they, they, it was just, they were so suggestive. And there was this fine art between creating a, a thumbnail that YouTube wouldn't reject and pull down after I've paid and had these things set up. So this is where the journey, this is part two of the journey because I'm a mentor to myself because this is one of the things that you guys should understand. Many of you know exactly what you need to do, but you're not doing it. And that's where I'm at because, you know, uh, one of the reasons I had a record month last month because I went back and I started running promotions I started running ads and stuff and I was like wow and that 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 really hit up for my financial statement and There were there were many things that I used to do in the YouTube videos that I stopped doing and honestly I got lazy with live streams because if you know the predominant content for the last few years has been live streams and live streams can be very powerful if properly conducted because the live streams for Savage Finance are gonna to be totally different than the live streams here at Hustlers Kung Fu. Because one of the things is that I've reached a point of dissatisfaction. I don't wanna do, this is why you don't, don't see the, the daily live streams. And this is, and I didn't wanna get off into the stimulus stuff. I, I don't really wanna do that. And this is why you don't see that. Um, what is happening is this is my second act and I know what to do because mark my words a year from now and this thing is because Savage Finance is growing very well and the other channels I got to put some more work into them but what's going to happen here as uh, I've mentored myself and I've learned is Savage Finance is going to be what this channel should have been because you know that's where I'm gonna put all of the money content on there. And one of the things that I've noticed is with the personal finance channels, a lot of these guys have become very popular talking about regular stuff. They're not talking about exceptional stuff because they've never done anything exceptional. That's one thing that, I, that started to really jump out at me is these guys have never done anything exceptional. Like, you know, standard typical advice and it, it's really personality driven if people like you and like your personality they will subscribe and they will listen to you and they watch your videos even if you're giving really crappy advice because one of the things is like um graham stefan um his advice it wouldn't work for me because i'm financially advanced i'm very financially savvy and it's very generic, very watered down, but people like him. They like Graham and they like his mannerisms and they like meet Kevin. They like his mannerisms. They like these guys. And this is why their YouTube channels have exploded. Not so much because of something that they've done. And meet Kevin, he built his channel pretty much going after Grant Cardone. But 
What's going to happen in this second act is we're going to get really tight because, you know, I was checking out Dave Ramsey and Dave Ramsey's worth like $55 million for essentially giving the same advice over and over again. Each year, there are more people who find out who Dave Ramsey is and more people find out because I, I have some amazing plans for Savage Finance and Savage Finance will be personal finance because Today I was working on a list of videos I gotta do. There are so many banks I have to review for the creative banking playlist. Um, and then there's um, some, another secured credit card that I find that's pretty, really good. And there's, there's gonna be so much content over at Savage Finance. There's gonna be, it's gonna be ridiculous. It's just gonna be nuts. And then the Savage Finance live show is gonna be like, um, you can ask your financial questions because last time I did that worked really well. And I'm not going to get in the habit of doing multiple live streams. That's something I got in the habit of doing over here, which kind of decimated the channel because, you know, I've talked about it. You can see people who do live streams all the time. Some people do live streams and they get massive reach. This happens in the relationship niche and stuff. And I found a girl, she only had like 17,000 subscribers, but whenever she did a live stream, she would get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 views. And I feel that that's what's gonna happen with Savage Finance once I start cranking them out because you know the live streams are gonna be way more purpose driven and more dedicated than what I was doing over here. Uh, I'm gonna be more educational and I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna craft them really well because you know, like I said, Savage Finance is probably gonna get 4,000 subscribers this month. To compare and contrast, Hustlers Kung Fu hasn't gotten 4,000 subscribers this year. And part of that is the content, the storage auction content. There's just too much content on the channel and it makes it really, really hard for the uh, channel to grow. And, you know, I will get the other channels growing. And like I said, I reactivated an older channel and I only put a few videos on it, and it's already gotten a lot of subscribers, more subscribers on that new channel that I just activated than the this channel. Because people come here and watch, but they don't subscribe and they don't come back. But at Savage Finance, people will watch videos over and over again. And you will see that What the hell? So you will see um, much different content over there. And it's gonna be more, and the, the channel is gonna grow up because I was sitting here just thinking about, you know, this is my second 10 year clock. And it's gonna be very, very different because uh, I'm thinking about writing another book for Savage Finance. I'm thinking about, cause like I said, I'm getting ready to put so much more effort into Savage Finance because that effort will be immensely rewarded. Savage Finance made 1500 bucks in AdSense last month. This month it's on track to do 3,500. But this channel's AdSense is going to go down to about two something. So I'll make a little bit more than I made last month cause I made 5,100. But with this channel and once the other channels come on, by December, it's my goal to be making $25,000 a month just from AdSense money, AdSense affiliate uh, deals and brand deals. And that's going to be significant income because it only takes me, because I, I really sat down, I've been really thinking, it only takes me like $5,500 a month to live. That's to buy food, pay for this, he's paid. And you know, I'm making $25,000 just from AdSense. That money can go to my paycheck. And then all of the course money and all this other stuff can go into the capital holding company. And I could begin buying a bunch of real estate, which is my intention for 2021. So, you know, it, it, it's a crazy, crazy journey, but we've got some amazing opportunities. I want you to understand that when I think back to as a child, I could not envision any of this. I, I didn't even conjure it. Who even knew this was going to happen? And this is one of the reasons that mentors are so important. Someone to say, hey, that this is possible. 
And this is one of the reasons that so many people are being drawn into Forex and day trading, because there's a lot of YouTube channels that focus on that. And Forex and day trading is very sexy, it's very now, it's very seductive. And you know, I'm getting ready to rebrand myself because what's gonna happen? There will be content here at Hustlers Kung Fu, maybe one or two videos a week, but the lion's share effort it's going to go over into Savage Finance and the new YouTube channels because I now know how to build a YouTube channel that grows because um, we will see what happens. But I would not be surprised if I'm at 50 to 70,000 subscribers for Savage Finance by December. And it won't even be a year old because I'm looking at the big jumps because what's happening is over there is I have videos that pop, then I get a lot of subscribers, then it jumps. And it, you know, I've got some heavy, heavy hitters coming for Savage Finance this week. This is going to be a really good week for training and content at Savage Finance. It's going to be an amazing week because what I'm going to do is go kind of hard for August and then I'm going to go back to just posting three videos a week over at Savage Finance. I just want to see what's going to happen because I pretty much last week posted every day. And, you know, kind of works, it kind of doesn't work, we will see. But, you know, after August, I'm probably just going to go to three videos per week at Savage Finance and just, you know, three videos per week plus one live stream because the live streams will be weekly. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to consistently do live streams. Because when you consistently do live streams, that kind of jacks up your channel. But I am really excited for the future. I am really, really excited for the future. Even though we have the Rona and all this other stuff, I am so excited for the future. So hopefully you enjoyed this little chit chat, this little walk down memory lane. And hopefully it helped you. If it helped you, just go ahead and put it in the comments and I will see you guys in this next video that you should watch. It should be right here.